In these strange and uncertain times, let us join together and worship God. I greet you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, the Lord be with you, and, and also, also with, with you. you. Let's say together our bidding prayer. We've come to worship God, let's pray to him. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, the thoughts of our hearts, by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us remember our imperfections in the sight of Almighty God. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. So let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. We can confess together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray our collect for this Wednesday of the week following the first Sunday of Easter. God of glory, by the raising of your Son you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope. For a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Throughout the Easter season, we regularly, rather than having an Old Testament reading, we almost always have a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, explaining some of the early actions of the Church following the death and resurrection of Jesus. Today's portion is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, reading the first ten verses. One day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer at three o'clock in the afternoon, and a man lame from birth was being carried in. People would lay him daily at the gate of the temple, called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could ask for alms from those entering the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But Peter said, I, I have no silver or gold. But what I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. Jumping up, he stood and began to walk, and he entered the temple with them, walking and leaping and praising God. 
all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they recognised him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing our gradual hymn, The Lord of the Dance. said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now on the same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus about seven miles from Jerusalem and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognising him. And he said to them, 
What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was re to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women from our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he was going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognised him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together, they were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of bread. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Two wonderful readings this morning and each has a message directly for us so let's see if in a thought for the day two minutes I can give us a little hint of how we can help each other and help ourselves to live in these weirdly uncertain days taking comfort from the stories from the first Easter. Where shall we start? Let's start with the Holy Gospel. The story of the disciples. They were walking. They met somebody and they started to talk. They were walking with our risen Lord and yet they didn't recognise him. Now there's a hint for us. In these days, we, we don't see many people. We actually don't hear from many people. But yet we do have contacts, all of us. Let's always remember that if we see a stranger, if we see somebody or hear of somebody who is needing help, even if we don't recognise them, let's be aware that it might be Jesus coming to us and asking us for help. That links directly into the reading from the Acts of the Apostles. 
because by the time of this account when I went to the temple which was called the beautiful gate they had developed eyes that had seen they had seen the risen Lord and they understood they'd gone from the the first stage of, of being blind and being ignorant and being unseeing and they had seen and they met the beggar and it's the beggar we will focus on for the second part of the tips for this morning the beggar was there looking for money looking for arms a L M S and so he did his standard patter when Peter and John went past and he thought it struck gold literally because they stopped and then it got even more encouraging they said they'd give him something and then I'm sure his heart dropped when they said but it won't be money and then they told him to stood up and he stood and he could stand he didn't fall down again and the writer of Acts tells us that he started to leap for joy and shout and run around the temple what the beggar discovered is that there are gifts which are worth more than money let us use this horrible time to understand that reality ourselves there's much more to life than money I don't know about your wallet but mine's rarely been so little used since I was a penniless student at Oxford There's more to life than money. The beggar didn't understand that. All he hoped for was some coins to keep him going till the next day. And through the grace of God, he received much more. So let us pray that we might have eyes that see and understand when we are with the risen Lord. And let us pray also that we may have grace not to be obsessed with financial gain. Let us seek for the greatest gifts. The gifts of life, of being loved, of loving and of sharing. Peter and John gave the beggar a great gift and it didn't cost a penny. Let us remember that and live it in our lives. Amen. Amen. And now let us pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world. And let us thank God for his goodness. We will follow Easter in secessions. At the end of each short piece, I will say we pray to the Father. The response is hear our prayer. And there will be two, at the end, there will be two special prayers for this time when we live through coronavirus. In joy and hope, let us pray to the Father. Let us pray that our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection and give us eyes to see and hearts to love. We pray to the Father, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And now we pray that our churches that are isolated and closed at this time may still be open in our hearts, that we, the people of the church, may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. We pray to the Father, Hear our prayer. We pray that God may grant us humility to share, to love and to care. We pray to the Father. Hear 
our prayer. We pray that you, Lord, may reveal the light of your presence to the sick, the weak and the dying. We pray that your peace may comfort and strengthen them. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. And we pray that according to your promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised on the last day. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. And now we pray especially for hospital staff and for those working in care homes, all of those who are caring for the sick, some in their own homes, all suffering from coronavirus. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work, Many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for those who are ill and isolated. O oh God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that even if we are isolated and alone, you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love. Reveal us. Reveal yourself to us in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And finally we pray for ourselves. We are not people of fear, we are people of courage. May we not be people who protect our own safety. May we be people who protect our neighbour's safety. May we not be people of greed. May we be people of generosity. May, be, may we be your people, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. And now let's join together all our prayers our spoken prayers and the prayers of our hearts as we ask together. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. Wherever you are, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, also with, with you. you. If you're with somebody, share a sign of peace with them. And if you're by yourself at home, Ella, peace be with peace you. Be with and peace be with you all. We prepare the table for the feast. Be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. 
Make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, for he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. And now we give you thanks, because through him you have given us eternal life and delivered us from the bondage of sin and the fear of death into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Saviour has taught us, let us pray with confidence. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, 
and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. We say together, Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. As is now, and I hope only for a short time, our norm, there is a prayer for you to say for communion in separation, while I, on our behalf, take the Eucharist. Lord Jesus Christ, life giver and good physician, here you meet me in our need. In a world marred by corruption and marred by death, draw me into true life. By your selfless sacrifice, help me to live for others and not myself. May I who cannot now receive your sacramentally embrace you more fully in my heart, mind and soul. Help me reunite myself to you in spirit so that I may be drawn closer to those from whom I am isolated in body. Through sharing your life, even up in death for us all, May we grow together in love into a richer and more profound communion of life. Let us pray together. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let's sing a hymn of triumph to God be the glory. <laughs> Bye. 
God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you, the who believe, the gates of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for the Eucharist this morning. Wherever you are, and I see people from different continents, wherever you are, may you keep well. May you and your loved ones keep safe. I repeat what I've said on a number of occasions. We can't physically be together so easily as we are accustomed to. May that help us to understand how lucky we normally are, how many gifts we have from God that we so easily accept as ours by right. May we understand that by ourselves we are nothing, but by the grace of God we have so much. If you have particular needs at this time, please don't be afraid to send a message, send an email, give a call to me. If it is at all possible, I will help in one way or another or find somebody who is able to help. So please do share your concerns if you have them. Most of all, though, do keep safe. We'll be back tomorrow with some live stream worship and it will be um, the time uh, will be uh, previewed on the Facebook pages. But for now, keep well, keep safe, whatever you're going to be doing. It may not seem to be anything exciting, but if you do it for God, it will be blessed. So whatever you're going to be doing, go in peace, love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, Ella will finish this worship with some beautiful singing, In Christ Alone. Mm -hmm.